What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I winterize my boat. It is surprisingly really warm today as you can see but we're in North Carolina in winter and sometimes temperatures can drop below freezing without we really getting much notice. So as I'm about to leave town for about four weeks it really just gives me more peace of mind knowing that my baby is okay. Usually I don't winterize my boat unless I know that the temperature is going to drop below freezing for 48 hours straight or more. And that's because it takes a little while for the water in your engine and in your boat to freeze enough to cause damage. And if it's less than 48 hours, you know, like if it gets really cold at night, but then during the day the temperatures are pretty good, then um, you don't really have, or I don't really worry about it. I have a 2022 WT2DC from Haiti. So to do this, you're gonna need a couple of things. It's called a fake lake. I got it at West Marine. You can get them at any marine store. I think it's around $30. Next, we have a little hose that we just cut up like a regular garden hose that just screws right into here. And at the end of it, we just put a funnel. So this whole kit, all together probably is under 50 bucks. And what this is, is a device you can put under your boat where the intake is. And we're basically just gonna flush my boat with antifreeze. So we also need about, I bought about eight gallons of, I think they're West Marine's own brand, just of antifreeze. So basically this just goes under your boat where the intake is. Under your boat you're gonna see this white intake. And next to it on both sides you have ballast tanks. So you're gonna have a blue hole on each side of the fence and there's your intake valve. And that's where we wanna put the fake lake up against and make it really tight so that the antifreeze <laughs> gets sucked up and into your engine. So we gotta make sure we keep a close eye on the exhaust because if there's not antifreeze coming through, that means the engine has a very high likelihood of overheating and you don't want that. <laughs> this is biodegradable. <laughs> The anti-freeze so you don't have to worry about your yard. Okay, so we have our hose connected to this little funnel. We're filling it up with antifreeze. It's it's gonna leak out a little bit underneath, but you wanna make sure that most of it goes into the boat. And then once I start the boat, these guys are gonna keep pouring the steady stream of antifreeze into my boat, basically. You guys ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Same thing with your ballast tanks. If you want, you can just put the Damn, suction the cup underneath, turn the ballast tanks on for a little bit, fill them a little bit, and then drain them a little bit. Cool. Thanks, guys. You're the best. That was fun. Thanks, Corbin. That was Very fun. Good. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say it's fun to winterize a boat before. Well, it's a job. You guys, it's gotta be fun. <laughs>